We, we will be discussing further the nomination of KwaZulu-Natal Premier-elect Nomusa Dube Ngobe. We're joined now by ANC Youth League member and activist, Wudumelo Tahe, to give us more expansion and depth. Uh, very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Paul. <laughs> we are going to, the province is set to see the first female premier since the dawn of democracy. I mean, it's, it's rather significant. What's your take and what's your feeling as a young person within the Youth League? Look, I think it's so important to acknowledge the fact that this is Women's Month in a country that is known to be conservative and to be very patriarchal in its approach to women empowerment. And KZN is, for the very first time in history, appointing or nominating the first female premier. I think this speaks to a bigger, significant achievement for women across the province or across the country even. Yeah. I mean, when I got this on, on social media, I literally, my day became brighter because it spoke to a very huger or larger um, significant achievement to the fact that we're closer to women empowerment and we're closer to generation equality, which is something that we advocate for within the Youth League, within the ANC, and within our space as activists who speak to wanting to achieve women finding expression. Yeah, especially because there's been an outcry that uh, women within the ANC are neglected when it comes to positions of support and yes. power. What does this mean to you as a young person? I mean, you're also obviously working your way up, and someday we'll have to talk about you being elected as um, the fifth woman, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me as a young woman within the ANC, it speaks to the fact that the ANC is not just speaking to women empowerment as a policy on paper, but it's implementing, and KZN is known to be a conservative province. And this is evidence to the fact that they are working towards implementation, and this speaks to the fact that the ANC, throughout its recent provincial conferences and regional conferences, has focused on rational leadership that is focused on young people leading and women being at the forefront and at the center of emerging in spaces of power. So yeah. it's very impressive and it's very encouraging to us as young women and as young people within the ANC that there is a young woman. And I mean, Nomusa is known for her work within the KZN province. And it's something that we can speak to to say that she represents what young women can look up to in KZN and across the country. Yeah, I mean, it's quite important when you speak about experience because she wasn't really just uh, nominated because of uh, being a woman, but a woman with a vast amount of experience. And also, I mean, perhaps I should ask you if you think that uh, this could be the strategy going into 2024 because we've seen a lot of the RET faction pushing for, for women to, to come um, forward in positions of power, like Ngosa Zana Lamini Zuma, Ndiwe Susulu, Zandila Gumete. That's more or less what we've been seeing uh, and the chanting towards women. I mean, I think, first of all, I don't think the RET has been pushing for women. I think women have cemented themselves within the space of politics to such an extent that it has become normal, normalized for women f to be able to emerge in spaces. And I think when we appoint such a woman to be a premier of KZN, which is a very conservative province, it's evidence and it speaks to a larger conversation across the country beyond just the ANC that we're ready for women leadership and we're able to receive it. And Nomusa is also able to give us what young women can be able to receive within the country. The RET faction, we can then say, is able to speak to a larger uh, program within the ANC mm -hmm. and this speaks to representation. I think the ANC has moved towards focusing on representation and it's very important that we focus on representation within the ANC and just within the country as well. Young people are very talented and young women have proven beyond reasonable doubt that within the space of politics they are able to lead and they are able to be able to cement themselves and be able to be the voice of people who do not have a voice. Yeah. It's very important. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We're going to have to leave it there for now. And thank, thank you, you for coming to speak to us in studio. That was ANC Youth League member and activist Widumelo Tahe giving us some reaction after the nomination of the ANC KZN Premier-elect Nomusa Dube Ngube.